Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Hi, I'm Mand. So, today's video is actually kind of like a fun play around video. Um, kind of, I think Dawn Michelle did it. Um, she did this whole playing with pears or something along those lines. Um, if I think of it, I'll try and link it in the description box below but if you're new and this is your first time stumbling across my channel as I said I'm Mand I am actually an oracle card reader and I'm based in Ireland or I'm from Ireland I should say so if you like all things spiritual and tarot and oracle card related and kind of a mix mash of all that and like law of attraction manifestation do hit the subscribe button I'd love to have you part of the family here it's a great little community i'm so super proud of it um it may be small but it's mighty do you know that kind of a way so yeah do and hit the bell so you'll be notified when i upload um my main videos go up on a wednesday and a friday and i'm now getting into doing like shorts as well so i'll do kind of like collective messages and things like that so what pairs are we playing around with Today. So what I would say is grab a snack, grab a drink, get comfy because I feel like this could be a bit of a long one. So the main focus that, or like the main tarot deck, it's the only tarot deck in this um, video is the Green Witch Tarot. As most of you know, it's one of my favorite tarot decks. I'm just going to move this out of the way. <laughs> it's one of my favorite tarot decks to work with. It's the one that I'm currently working with. And I love pairing tarot and oracle cards. Now, my main way of reading in one sense would be just oracle card readings. I read very intuitively and I do oracle card readings and things like that. So tarot is just something that is personal to me. It's something that I use for myself. But when I'm doing like client readings, I use oracle. Now, these decks necessarily that I show aren't really the ones that I use in my readings. These are ones for my own private practice right so I have one two three four five oracles that I want to pair here with the green witch some I have worked with and others I haven't worked with if I'm correct not yet anyway but I was thinking of kind of making this somewhat of a series um just so you because I know myself I sometimes struggle with pairing tarot and oracle cards together so I'm hoping to kind of make this either a weekly thing or every two weeks or once a month kind of a series. Um, it's I don't think it's my own original ID. I'm pretty sure there's probably other videos, but I sometimes struggle to find it or somebody who matches the same like aesthetics as myself. But listen, um, that's the beauty about Tarot and Oracle. It, there's something for everyone. <laughs> so um, we all know what the backs of these look like. So I'm going to leave this in the middle and the first one I'm going to pair it with is the Herbal Astrology Oracle. Now I have done a walkthrough on this deck, I believe. I will try and tag it. These are the backs. Um, Some of these, the artwork is not going to work with them. You know, they're not the same and some they pair so beautifully and whatnot. But I do believe I have worked with these two together um you will see a running theme here i'm just okay so i wanted to make sure everything was straight and um looked aesthetically pleasing right isn't that what we kind of like here on youtube so this is the herbal astrology um oracle deck um i love this i want to get more into like herbs and astrology now as you all know and i've said this a bazillion times i promise i won't keep saying it <clears throat> excuse me is the green witch tarot is one of my favorite i feel like it's kind of for me personally very um representative of kind of where i want to be at right it's where i see myself immersed in so i like to match oracle decks that tune in with that and complement the energy so this is a very earthy deck for me so and it's very interesting because um I am a lot of water and air signs 
right? I have very little earth signs in my birth chart, right? Now, I'm not an expert in astrology. Very, very, very basic, very basic um, understanding of it. But I find myself more drawn to, which is very unusual, I find, for myself anyway, because you would imagine I'd be more drawn to, like, water type decks or air elements and things like that. But no, apparently I'm very, very drawn to that um, earthy, witchy aesthetic that feeling it's not even an aesthetic it's more like a vibe and energy so I do you see the way like <laughs> you couldn't do this if you tried and I didn't because I like to let these things like intuitively flow organically flow and I just wanted to show ye how these pair together so you have purpose the horned god and leadership I mean <sighs> Can you see how these two are like powerful together? You know what? I've never thought about it, I swear. I, li I like doing these videos because I think of like more ideas. Um, yeah, you can still see. I'm just making sure. But like you can see how like the horned god, right? And you have leadership, purpose. So it's really about, you know, the sense of like taking. I'm not doing readings here now. It's like taking charge. And really, I think, you know, what I feel here is like, it's more like leaning into your purpose and, you know, flowing with that. And you could really go into depth and then you have the guidebooks that you could t dip into. And I just love. <sighs> I love the way these like flow, these flow together. These literally just complement each other. They, um, I feel like the color palette, definitely. I know some people like that whole color palette. Oh, I love that. Like, trust, two of wands, ancient memory. Like, oh. so there's something very grounded and earthy about these two decks together. And I feel with the Oracle it gives like a broader sense than if you just use like a tarot. Um, I don't use two tarot decks together. I tend to use an oracle and a tarot and just work with them. I don't like to overload my brain. I can get very um, overwhelmed. <laughs> so we have like King of Chalices, Surrender, Rebirth. So that feels like a lot of emotion, a lot of water because, you know, cups, chalice chalices are cups and then you have your emotions and feelings and just surrendering and surrendering and letting go and when we do that you know we get into a more stable place of being and we can like rebirth and recreate and uh. sometimes I've, I've said this a few times I find it so hard to articulate what it is that's in my head and to say to you guys um but I feel these complement each other. I just want to show you like two more pairings. Like so you can get a real sense of how they, <clears throat> excuse me, truly pair together. So we have like action, two chalices, conduit. Like, oh, when I do these videos, I just want to sit down and just play with my decks now. <laughs> So we have the she and the beloved journey like this just feels powerful magical if you know practical um magic is part of your practice i feel like this can be a powerful manifestation tool it can be a very powerful divination tool as well and on that one oh look at that look at that we have intuition the lord of shadows a magician how beautiful is that like magician and intuition um manifesting knowing that you are the powerful one you can create this once you listen to your own intuition honing in on your own intuition and working with it creating and the lord of shadows um is like that rebirth sense that out with the old in with the new so we are going to go on to the next oracle pair so the next one we have paired with it is a compendium of witches. Now this is a very interesting oracle because you have nearly like two sets of oracle in one. The backs are pretty much 
you know, they're not even pretty much, they are the same. So you can combine the two or you can work with them, with them separately. I believe I worked with these two together quite some time. I can't remember really, to be brutally honest. But as I'm looking here, there's definitely a deeper sense. I feel like this goes much, much deeper into... Okay, and again, the sense of like the subconscious mind, right? And it really gets us, like you have like the the first level, the second level, it's kind of like a third level. This is the only way you can describe it, right? It's like really deep, gritty. You know, in one aspect, nearly even the shadow, the shadow aspect of it. It's, it feels like this one would draw up like, okay, I'll be honest, all of them feel like they'll draw up different kinds of emotion. But I definitely feel like this is honing in more on that shadow, subconscious mind that we don't really, we don't always listen to, right? That we don't always hone in on. Um, these are beautiful, beautiful kind of like archetypal um, cards in them that I find would benefit, you know, really work with the green witch oh, I love that like roots and autumn ten of chalices like, that's just gorgeous let me know in the comments once you've kind of finished this like what is your favorite pairing from this lot apologies I had to take some water <laughs> Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what is your favourite one so far. I make sure that I'm shuffling them all up. Um, I feel like you'll get really intense readings off of this. I feel it's more the sense of this isn't something you're going to do just one quick card draws off it. I feel this is something that is going to be very in-depth and... very surreal is the sense I'm getting I feel the messages that you're going to get um is just they're going to be intense they're going to make you work and it's going to kick your ass I feel like it's really going to kick your ass in that sense um I know I've worked with these two together but to be honest it's been so long ago I don't really remember I'm not sure do I love it as much um like as in picture wise as the herbal astrology while I'm looking at it now and having them all laid out um but that doesn't mean they won't work together you know sometimes some decks sue better together do you know as in picture wise but sometimes it may be the ones that the images don't look as pleasing but the readings are spot on and to be honest at the end of the day personally um well I love the pictures and I you know use that very much for my own readings and my intuition and things like that it's really the message that I'm looking for at the end of the day it's really what what it is I need to hear you know how can I work through this how can I focus on this you know so I'll do one more I love that the explorer and the alchemist and ace of Athens. Oh, oath, queen of wands, light. So I'm going to leave that one there and we are going to move on to the next one. The next pairing I have is uh, the Blessed Bee Oracle by Lucy Cavendish. And this is actually quite a new deck in my collection. It's not a brand new deck. It's been around for quite some time, but it is new to my collection. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like this is the, yeah, this is definitely the first Lucy Cavendish, but I actually have two Lucy Cavendish's decks. Comment below if you're at this point, right? And let me know what the other Lucy Cavendish is. Then, you know, I know you'll be watching my videos. <laughs> so <clears throat> I haven't worked with these two together, but I was curious to see how they looked um, as I like doing this now. I feel like they'll work very well because this has a very earthy sense as well as very magical. Um, I'm very much getting into kind of more spell work within my own practice and being more practical, practical, that's not a word, practical in my practice. So I... 
felt drawn to working with this deck um, to kind of help with, you know, blessings and bringing in that, oh, I'm just making a mess here, um, bringing in that kind of good, good energy. So, yes, these are all like beautiful people and I, I like it. That's actually the front of the page. But we have like a bless, a blessing for peace of mind, Ace of Wands and a blessing on your love. I, I really like this. So I'm definitely going to be working with this soon. You know, we're coming into the summer months. So I feel like, you know, these work kind of all year round. In fairness, these decks, I do feel are very versatile. They're not just set for one season. Um, I feel like they hone in on all the seasons, which is great. It's a great way to be, especially if you're somebody who wants like a small collection of, you know, a handful of decks. That's completely fine. So blessing on your day, a blessing for good men and fathers and three of atomies. Interesting. Interesting. I feel like you would, yeah, by the looks of it, like get interesting readings off of this. These are quite uh, thick cardstock. They're um, Blue Angel. So if you have Blue Angel decks, you'll know. Um, Okay, so we have Ace of Pentacles, Blessing of Forgiveness and a Blessing on a Friendship. So, you know, you can get the sense of in one way if you were reading for somebody or reading for yourself that there's something around a friendship that needs to be forgiven. Maybe it's forgiving yourself, forgiving the other person. I feel like, you know, the Ace here, it's the start of something new, you know, especially with Pentacles being very earthy, materialistic, that kind of, you get the sense, the vibe that I'm going with here. <laughs> So a blessing for unity where once there was division, a blessing for support and the green man. And I love that. I think that is, oh, sorry. So gorgeous. Um, I'm excited to see how these read when I'm doing readings for myself, which should be very interesting. <laughs> A blessing on the children, the crone, and a blessing to shield and safeguard you. Ooh, how powerful does that feel? Like how intense, how that strong supportive feminine energy that, that just hones in. It's kind of like that whole maiden mother crone vibe. I love it. I love it. A blessing from your ancestors, two of Adamies, and a blessing to bring clarity. So, I love that. Do we have the King of Chalice? Oh, you guys, I'm so silly. I'm after uh, shuffling up the cards again. Blessing on Homecoming, King of Chalices, and Blessing on Your Intuition. Yeah, I like the way this is kind of like a very much balance of all the elements. Oh, I never moved that one, sorry. It's, I say that and then the, the tower comes out, like balance. <laughs> a blessing on your sleep, the wild hunt, and a blessing on a battle that cannot be avoided. So I feel, oh, that is powerful, right? So we have the tower. We all know the tower in one sense or another. For me anyway, it means like the crumbling of like old beliefs, old ways, things like that. Things, you know, it's falling down. The foundation wasn't solid. It was rocky right and especially with a blessing on a battle that cannot be avoided so this is really um a sense of saying that this cannot be, be avoided but we're going to keep you safe right and a blessing on your sleep so you may be having issues sleeping because of this the stress the anxiety you know the the pressure that is on you because of a certain situation that's going on that's causing a lot of turmoil so what it is really getting the sense of is a blessing on a battle that cannot be avoided so while we cannot avoid this and sometimes things must crumble you know things must fall apart so we can build it all back up we've all heard it before right but just to reiterate this just to show you how it can read is the sense that no matter what you go through in life, you will always come out the other side. You know, there, there's been many things that we have faced in our lives that go, I could not possibly get through that. Or I don't know how you do that. You know, we say that to other people. But yet yeah, here we are and we face these things head on and we are okay and we will be okay. Oh, a blessing for solace and hope. 
of chalices and a blessing of protection i love that these two look very like don't they hold on let me bring these up so you guys can see look at that wow okay i have two more decks to get through so i'm gonna start talking about these two and i'll see you with the next one now the next pairing i absolutely love and i have worked with this several times again i probably won't be able to describe it as best <laughs> as i should be able to but i will do the best that i can right so this is the celtic spirit oracle by uh nicola mcintosh it's a rockpool publishing deck i love these two together i love the keyword and then the description words underneath the straight forward like i feel like this is the main focus and these are the extras so that makes sense um this is quite a smaller deck so there's only like 36 cards in it if i'm correct one second let me check for you guys 36 cards yeah um oh like look at that depressed isolated help eighth of atomies standing stones ancestors gateways sacred so like do you do you understand and see what i'm trying to say with these pairs um like they're just now this wouldn't have been my style to be honest it still isn't really my style sometimes i find these cards very odd very strange but we have a connection we're now besties we're just like two odd balls hanging out having a great time and this or could be kicking my butt not even gonna lie like honestly these two together call me out and i'm like <laughs> well thank you so much <laughs> like i love that surrender and fawn so we have beginnings and willing willingness and opportunities and we had to let go freedom flow and with the lady and the lord it's just oh sometimes this can be so sweet right and it's just like you got this but then it can hand you your butt on a platter and be like mm -hmm. you need to straighten yourself up you need to cop on and sometimes sometimes I hate to be the one to say it we sometimes need a good dose of cop on and we need to get over ourselves and just <laughs> I love that so you have you have the she and you have ancient knowledge help dimensional and cedrin Cedarin. I sometimes I don't know how to pronounce these goddesses' names and stuff like that. So, um, transformation, knowledge, and magic, and that is ah, oh, like tree, ch mm. chef's kiss, just chef's kiss. That's what I'm gonna say. I love this. This and the herbal astrology is definitely one of my favorite. I actually am loving the blessed bee and the compendium, like a compendium of witches. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I definitely worked with it with this deck, but I'm not sure if it works with this deck. But look, sometimes you have to try these things to see. Otherwise, we wouldn't know. So we've Gatekeeper, Power, Abundance, Hidden, Courage, Camouflage, and Five of Pentacles. Do you see what I mean when it says it can hand you? She of the Woods, the Green Man, and Nine of Chalices. Oh, so gorgeous. So gorgeous. So if you're into that like kind of pagan Celtic feel, these are definitely decks of witchy aesthetics even. Um, they're definitely the decks that I would say myself. I find myself feeling more drawn to these kind of decks to work with more so. Um, and I will do one more after this and then we move, we'll move on to the very last and the very last pairing we have is solitary witch with the green witch tarot and to say i love this pairing is like an understatement i am obsessed <laughs> this is the one i've been working with with the last few days i've just been doing one card draws with them and i have to say the messages are sweet precise and to the point um because I'm drawing in the or I draw my cards in the morning, so I just want like quick hit intuitive messages, right? I don't want anything too detailed that I'm narrating for ages and ages. And I feel like that gives me that. But but I do want to add, I do feel that this gives <clears throat> excuse me, very in-depth readings as well. I just haven't sat down and gave it the time to 
to do that. So I find this so beautiful. I love the artwork. I love the combination. This is definitely one of my favorites. Um, if I had to rank, I would definitely say this is my first and then the herbal astrology and then with the Celtic spirit blessed be and the compendium of which has been the last but i don't regret the way i've paired these because i do feel like you know the best has been saved for last for sure um the artwork necessarily isn't the same <laughs> but the messages hit they hit i mean look at that her knowledge runs deep with the high priestess and sometimes she changes powerful I know I say that about it <laughs> nearly every pairing have a nice like it's powerful it's great but it is it, it's so um like for me this just vibes so deeply so rings true to heart as well there are many other decks that I would have loved to pair with this but I feel like these are the ones that I would reach for the most with this in my own personal practice and while again, everybody's personal practice is going to look different, I do feel that I like to give some insight into what I do myself. For the reason being is, you know, sometimes we like to take inspiration from others and that's what I like about others sharing their practices is that I too can get inspiration and ideas from their practices incorporated into my own or adjust and adapt as I see fit um, obviously when it comes to this kind of witchy um, eclectic style really to be honest and look at that they're all sitting they're all pretty much facing the same way she's actually facing more way she's facing forward and this is a side portrait do you see what I mean when I say like these just work so beautifully together the messages you're going to get it's a nice chunky um, deck. I believe there's like 46, 47 cards or something like that in it. Um, normally they're even. So maybe it's 48. I definitely did walk through. Did I forget what how many cards are in it? Yep, I did. That's me though. <laughs> I just love these. Like we have the witch, the crone in winter. And she was once a sulky. So you know what? I even feel like if you're... A writer and you like writing stories I feel like these could really help bring out beautiful stories like so powerful so magical and in depth as well you know but if you just want a quick precise message this is a great combination if you want that combination of tarot and oracle or individually they both work beautifully I'll do one more <laughs> I love that so my lovelies I hope you enjoyed the video playing around with some pairs that you've gotten some IDs let me know in the comments below what you know if you have the green witch tarot what what other oracle do you pair it with or maybe you pair it with um tarot let me know below I would love to hear it so hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video i appreciate it it does help my channel to grow um which i would be really appreciative if you even shared don't forget to tag me or even if you wanted to to do a like video reaction or you know maybe you want to do it on instagram i'm there too so let me know and i hope you have a wonderful day afternoon evening or night wherever you are in the world and i will chat to you all real soon bye guys